What's up guys, the second generation BMW M2 is finally here. The coupe receives new styling to differentiate it from the rest of the 2 series lineup, but that's only half of the equation. The coveted M badge lets the world know this coupe packs a potent powertrain. We knew from camouflaged prototypes that the 2023 BMW M2 would be a seriously chunky boy. Now that the new coupe's edges and angles have been bad, it's clear we got the chunk right, but we didn't consider the pocket hulk intensity. BMW designers were intent on making a statement with the debut of the brand's last non-electrified M car, starting with the low, white front fascia exaggerating all the horizontals, leaving the M2 CS design language behind, straight lines and hard edges dominate. A stretched frameless kidney grille separates stretched single-element LED headlights. A pair of deep creases distinguish the upper area from the triple low intake that is all rectangles, each element pulled laterally across the car. The rear fascia exaggerates elements from the earlier car. A more pronounced crease sets off the decolleted spoiler. The lower edge of the trunk doesn't cascade into the bumper anymore, rather the two meet with straight lines. The bumper thrown like a jutting crossbar. Slim outer air vents are gone, pried open to form vertical rectangles housing reflectors. The diffuser insert looks to be merely there, a decorative insert to frame quiet pipes emerge from a white muffler. It is all very serious. M signature engine sits under the long hood. The S58 twin power turbo inline six cylinder. Puissance comes to 453 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. 48 horses more than the M2 competition. Nine more than the M2 CS with the same torque figure shared between the three. Every bit of that goes to the rear wheels through either a six speed manual transmission or an eight speed automatic. BMW says 0 to 6 miles per hour takes 3.9 seconds in the automatic, 4.1 seconds in the manual. The M2 CS with a 7-speed dual clutch automatic run the same sprint in 3.8 seconds. The M2 competition with the same gearbox did it in 4.2 seconds. These close times are definitely related to the fact that BMW list curb weight for the new second gen M2 at 3,814 pounds with a manual gearbox and 3,000 1867 with automatic. The previous M2 weighed 3,600 pounds with a six speed manual. The interior gets redesigned M Sport seats with more aggressive side bolsters, stitched up in perforated in black or cognac Venasca leather, and set off with illuminated M logos. An optional carbon package swaps out for a set of new M carbon bucket seats. Standard convenience and safety systems include park distance control, dynamic cruise control front collision warning with brake intervention and lane departure warning. Active cruise control with stop and go can be optioned only on cars with the 8-speed auto. The standard color palette gets Alpine white, Black Sapphire metallic, Brooklyn gray metallic, Toronto red metallic and the M2 exclusive Zandvoort blue. The new M2's global launch will come in April 2023. Starting price will be $62,200 plus a $995 destination charge totaling $63,195, about $3,300 more than the last gen. A new generation of the Audi A4 is deep into development. In addition to the sedan version, the next Avant wagon is on the way too. The example is testing at the Nürburgring. The new A4 follows the general automotive design trend of adopting a larger grille. The design continues to have a hexagonal shape but now stretches to the headlights. The lower fascia has a trapezoidal open with the sensor in the middle. Vertical slits are on the outer edges of the nose. The camouflage makes it difficult to see the design details. There is a raised portion along the lower portion of the doors. The rear fenders have boxy flares. The wagon rides on black five-spoke wheels. At the back, this car wears placeholder taillights. There is a single exhaust outlet on the driver's side of the bumper. Earlier spy shots of the cabin show the A4 with a white digital instrument cluster and a separate infotainment display. The gear display is on the console. The new generation reportedly doesn't get a manual
ALK box option. Judging from a previous Spy video, the A4 would continue to use a turbocharged 4-cylinder and the S4 sounds like it still uses a turbocharged V6. A hybrid powertrain is a possibility because of more stringent emissions rules in Europe. Plus, BMW and Mercedes offer electrified choices in their competitors against the A4. The new A4 will reportedly debut in 2023. It's not yet clear whether the Avant would premiere at the same time as the sedan. Later, we expect the higher riding, more rugged all-road version and the sporty S4 to join the lineup. Audi is already developing an electric version of the larger A6. It's supposed to debut before the end of the year. A wagon version joins the range in 2024. So subscribe to our channel for the new videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.